good morning everybody and welcome back to Built Novel Campers and today we're doing a little bit more work on my camper van on this one and if you see by the door here we have some of these off-road recovery tracks so the aim is literally to put these on the back door here so this was always the plan with this van and that was to get the spare wheel on the back get a jerry can on the back and to get the recovery tracks on the back doors gives it that bit of a look plus if i get stuck anywhere i've got them now to recover myself with also in the back of the van i do have a hand winch as well so any situation at all Fingers crossed I'll be able to get myself out of it. Or, when the new person takes the van over, they'll be able to get themselves out of it. Right, so first of all, what we've got to do, we've got to mark the doors where we're going to put the unistrut that's going to hold those tracks on the van. Right, so, we've got the Unistrut prepared.
As you can see, I've already put the rib nuts in the van. I'm going to use some of this thread lock to put these bolts through your Nistra onto the van so they don't come loose. Right, so that's one Unistrap bar on there. And I've used hex headed, they're countersunk bolts, but they're doing what it needs to do. So all I've got to do now, put the top one up, and then let's, we can attach the tracks to it. Before I put the threaded bar on there, I'm gonna drill a small hole in the threaded bar to put an R clip through. And at some point in time, I'll get a couple of little padlocks, to make the holes a little bit bigger and padlock them on. But for now, we're going to just R clip them. Thank you. 
Right, so let's just let you know what we've done. Drill two holes there and there. Put in rib nuts, put two big washers and two big stainless steel bolts so they don't rust. And on the bolts I put some, uh, I'll put it back in now, I put some uh, thread lock on it so I reduce the risk of the bolts coming loose. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put one of the zeb nuts that goes in there, I'll show you those in a second, and the threaded rod on, so I can put one of the tracks on and work out exactly how long I need to cut the threaded rod down. Anyway, let me show you that bit. Right, so let me show you what I mean. These are called zebs, and they go inside the uh, unistrut. And this is a threaded rod that I'm gonna use. Right, so there we've got them on. I say the bars are on there. We put them on with wing nuts at the moment. 
and they're solid they're not going anywhere but what we're going to do we're going to take these bars off we're going to spray them black and i'm going to take off these two bottom threaded bars so we can put padlocks on them now the padlocks we're going to be using is these little things here which i've also got one on the jerry cam now the good thing about all these three padlocks every single padlock is using the same key so they're all keyed alike which is brilliant so you're not going to have too many keys around so what i'm going to do i'm going to take these off and then we can i can show you the zebs and the threaded bar in place So there you go, that's these in place, they will be thread locked in. But for now, um, I need to take two bottom ones off to drill the holes so we can get the padlocks on. So that was a total fail. I won't be using them padlocks after all because I think they're going to be a bit too thick for these. Never mind. 
For now, we're going to put our pins in, our clips, until we can get a smaller padlock. I need to cut another one of these, though. Right, so now we've drilled holes in all four of the threaded bars for the R clips. I'm going to go and put these back on the van using the threaded uh, thread lock, so to lock these in place. Let's go.
Right, trust this weather, it's just started to rain. Right, so if you look there closely, you can see the thread lock on there, that green stuff. Now that's all four has been done. 